Mont, there we go. Okay. <laughs> oh, hi everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Face a mutt, Lieutenant Akir, at your service, and... Thank all the gods and goddesses if we got this to work this quickly again. Uh, yeah, audio issues again. Like, something in the... <clears throat> Two settings related to the voice meter stuff got reversed for some fucking reason. So there was no audio g being shared to the tier. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, welcome back to Dawn of War 2 Retribution, the final expansion. Though it's also available standalone for Dawn of War 2. And yeah, last time we started... Now, please... I know this is the third stream as them, so last time we continued on with the Imperial Guards, where the Inquisitor is apparently not as important as you'd actually think by the fact that she's on the freaking main screen, as in she plays second fiddle to Lord General Caster. Okay, it has been a while since we've played this. Last week we got, we basically cancelled out because it was the 1st of January or so uh, yeah let's see uh, what were we no, planning first again January was a monday uh oh uh, wait, wait, it's the sixth so that would have been the 31st yeah i think or something we anyways out for some other reason uh yeah I think we're going for the Lehman Ross drop with uh, Caster. Also, I've read around yeah. a, a bit. Uh, apparently, Burn really is powerful on the field as well. And hello there in Chet Glacier, boy. <laughs> Let's see. Hello, Marshall Hillian and Reclusark <laughs> Kier. How are you doing today? Uh, hello, there, Glacier boy. <laughs> but yeah, <clears throat> apparently, you can uh, upgrade Burn to the point where basically his his execute ability is really freaking strong and actually lasts longer than its own cooldown but i don't know if we've actually managed to build him towards that so i think we might have to just go as well as we were with it with while well, shelving him for the <laughs> the buffs on other units box sounds like a chance to acquire resources as well as to deliver the emperor's justice we found a power station, boss. Should give us the juice we need to finish her up. And why is you here telling me about it? I told you to find them and to guard them. Even if the humans don't come to take them back, someone else might come nick them. We're supposed to just sit on them power nodes and hope a strap comes to us. Where's the fun in that? We only need them nodes long enough to finish building Daisy. That is where the fun begins. And yeah, we're on this again. So let's continue. Yeah. And just Oakwind's immune to suppression. Guardsmen you know, deal more damage. Yeah, I, I think as things are, it is just more use to put burn on the, on the bench. <laughs> yeah, the Oakwind's are surprisingly more useful. Or at least the way we've built him. And let's see, Glacier yeah. Boy, doing well. Are you about to resume the Eternal Crusade? Yep, already am. And, yeah, we should be able to finish up with the Imperial Guard in this one. Hopefully. Just, well, this is this is a late-game mission. There's only, like, 12 or so main mission oh, total or so. Why are we here? Boss, looks like a fire came to us after all. What? Well, keep them off the power notes. Daisy ain't ready yet. <laughs> ha! The orcs. Yarek would enjoy this. Oh. Okay, that has to be referenced to someone, but I'm forgetting who. <laughs> Old Bailey, the commissar, a general with a massive metal claw and a red laser eye. Okay, yeah, now I think I'm. Just uh... for Yarek. Adrian killed him, apparently. <laughs> also, I also learned hmm. something about Space Marines today. Mm -hmm. Something I thought was only it's for Blood out. Ravens. But apparently it's the norm for majority of Space Marines. Okay. Space Marines 
Don't worship the emperor as a god. Okay. They see him more as a pinnacle of a human evolution, so they revere him. It is probably more reasonable why the dreadnoughts uh, haven't just blurted out that, oh, the emperor is not god, and something like that, and that they're not in favor of his flings, but. Yeah, it would also explain why the, Inqu the Inquisition shows have a bit of a rocky relation with uh, the Space Marines. Yeah, since the Inquisition are very much of the, uh, he is a god faction. Yeah, but I do know that they need the Space Marines and the Space Marines know that uh, they need them and other things. I also know that if they started to rebel against them, they also use the more problems. Yeah. So it's more of a rocket relation. And I also know that the Emperor made them and they serve the Emperor. So it's one of those, they be let it slide. But again, there are some chapters like the Black Templar. It's probably all the poster boys for the space Marines that worship the Emperor as a god. But apparently they are the rarity, not the norm. Okay. But again, it does explain a lot. Yeah. Okay. As usual, let's just start spawning as many guardsmen as we can and just overwhelm the enemy with sheer numbers. As the, the weird boy over there that we need to deal with. Also, and I have a... also, for the sake of the Imperial Guard uh, playthrough, learned some Imperial Guard facts. Says so why not? Okay. And he's talking about the Cadians as we play as. Oh. Something probably a bit hard to see if they even added it here in this game. Something that a majority, if not all, Cadians have. Hmm. Purple eyes. Okay. Yeah, do I, mean, I, mean, uh, yeah, I do believe there were. I do believe. If, uh, once uh, Slanesh was born and all that, uh, basically making travel between galaxies nearly imp or uh, near impossible, that well, all of the subhuman or <clears throat> uh, all the uh, offshoots of humanity started because of inbreeding and such, and well, having to forcefully adapt to the uh, environment. So I can see that um. being a thing with the Cadians. Yeah, it actually, like, here's the thing. There was a warp storm before Slanesh was born by making it warp travel impossible. However, when Slanesh was born, the warp storm stopped. Okay. <laughs> so, in a weird way, their birth allowed space travel again. Sole survivor of our first squad here. Oh, God. Glazer board, not normal purple either, it's bright purple. Okay. Alright. But yeah, I do feel like Commander many here. people don't know about this space breeze and all things. Like, like, I know you are the memes just as everyone, but I do feel like the memes may be misleading people a lot. Good chance on that, yeah. I saw that video from Wes Hammer a while back on that. Yeah, I rewatched one of those episodes again, and I, I recommend West Ham, but he's, he himself is still learning. But he does his best to look it up, and even ask his uh, followers to help him at times uh, when needed. Hmm. So, I, I think that's not sure what he says. Uh, not blindly, but... Yeah, they, they do... They are trying their best to give as good information as possible. And I guess I also should say this. Uh, this may probably uh, uh, disappoint meme lovers. The, the corpse of Krieg don't use shovels in when they fight. Danger close. Not that the Imperial Guard yes. cares much about that. Yeah, the, the shovel fighting is actually fully fan-invented. 
So no okay. one will have ever mentioned them fighting with shovels. <laughs> okay, now we're truly fighting the Imperial Guard style. Just infinite reinforcements. <laughs> oh god. Uh, okay. Also, Rocky, did you listen to West Hammer's King of Pigs video? I have not yet. I think I said it in the Tricky Memory a few times. I Should think that's one of that. the horror story ones. Oh yeah, and yes, people that are horror stories in 40k. Yeah. Is, is, <laughs> that says something, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, we've already lost all of our original... <laughs> Yeah, of for original guardsman troops, which also is, well, kind of how the Imperial Guard fights. You send folks to the front line, they die, and just send in new ones. I protect. If you wish it, it shall be. Okay. Uh, someone capture this. Who do you think you is stealing what we done rightfully stole, boys? Get in there and take that note back. We'll everyone gets their flumming wear first. Commander here. Cadians, everyone get inside. Okay. Uh, have you seen when I watched that video about King of Pigs? Uh, I mean, you everybody know. need to be in the right mood for it. It's dangerous. Thank the Emperor for these weapons. <laughs> uh, it's here. Wearing terrors of sluggers attacking here. Commander here. Go ahead. <laughs> Make the Emperor proud this day. Sir, upgrades are complete here. Generator under attack. Okay. Uh, okay, all of you out. I thought they would be a bit more effective from there, but apparently they can't shoot that way from there. Okay. I'll some artillery over there. Yeah, at least one of you lot get to repairing that. We get the. I presume we only need one of these to, to survive, but still, let's try and keep as many as we can up. Yeah. Holy. Okay, I was about to throw down another artillery strike on that, but there's only one left. Are you sure? It's hard to see through the fire, and that's why I had anything remaining. <laughs> well, when facing with a mostly melee force, <laughs> flamethrowers are the good idea, I'd say. Yeah, probably one of the few things you need to, to use to make sure you don't end up with more orc spores. You boys ain't got that no back yet? Fine, clear off. We just use the juice from the others to finish up. Let's see, we're Katie apparent carapace armor. That's probably Ready and able. Actually, I... Since it doesn't cost us anything to give them those flamethrowers, I think we might just push, try and see if we can push through with only guardsmen with flamers and the heroes. Oh. Speaking of, someone's getting her ass kicked again. Okay, just <laughs> flamethrowers and me. <laughs> yeah, oh, I suppose it is. Are people wondering how I learned about this about Space Marine today? Uh, where someone recently released a video about the chaplains of the Space Marines. Okay. So, yeah, again, I recommend that YouTuber. Okay, let's That'll push the front West line forward. Uh, let's see, Glacier Boy, we can watch it together if you'd like. Let's see. Yeah, they lost that as well as earlier I responded. <laughs> yeah, okay. Commander here. Ready and are always ready. Additional troops have 
Okay. Okay, I tried pressing Z to auto uh, put on the auto reinforce, but apparently that doesn't re really work that way. Really, we're getting experience on our team on our troops with this. Not that they'll survive long enough to make use of it. Okay. Let's see, Glacier Boy, and we talked about that video as well as me liking Black Templars, hence why I call you Marshall, the captain would be Castellan, so I promoted you, <laughs> Leon, and Rakir as Reclusiarch. Okay. Oh, God. Let's see. We'll need this <clears throat> population upgrade. Does the U actually go deep and drop that quickly? Oh, hello. Okay. Let's grab a few more resources so we can actually get as many as we can. So, okay, we... Well, <clears throat> I, for a moment I thought maybe with all the refunding and stuff from losing units we'd have enough. Uh, we'd have plenty. But no, it's, it doesn't give that much extra back. It's basically like we're... It's basically like every character you know, or unit in this game comes with insurance. With a premium, uh, with extra on top of it. <laughs> okay. And I forgot to move around the grenades. Because I've been looking across our he hero units for that for a bit now. Hmm. Okay. Someone capture that. You set up. <laughs> no time to complain, Merrick. You've been ha you've been hauling stuff around for over for a decade now. You know we're ready. You know we're ready. Cadians are always ready. You know we're ready. Okay. It seems I interrupted the command. Uh, I should also say this: uh, Cadians are one of the more. That's just greedy, that is. Oh, sending in the big dagger. I take it back. Go ahead. Oh dear. Oh dear. Is Kina is one of the one of the more very extremely well known re reg regiments for being well extremely well trained. So much that he actually said. Cadian generals and commissars to train other regiments of other lesser known uh, uh, imperial guards. <clears throat> so, yeah, yeah, they are not. There we go. That's to my limited knowledge, whenever people just think of the imperial guard of his, on a his service level, they think either Kadia, Katachan, or Krieg. Yeah. But how many more? Some will actually have more of us, but fairly disservice due to. Uh, they did not sell us well. Probably due to. She's uh, like a stop. Yeah. Toshi troopers and such. Like, uh. Taroran. If I even pronounce that right. Desert Raiders. It's a very Middle Eastern group. We are very good with tanks and this, uh, desert warfare. Okay. And they used to live on a very. We still ain't got to power no back. Boys, leg it back to Daisy, sharpish. Kick these thieving magpies off the last load. <laughs> I'm on the object. Oh dear. They, they used to be on planet, the planet with a lot of savanna, jungles, and rivers and such. But then the chaos happened to Horus Heresy, who sent a virus bomb on it. Okay, yeah, that's going to end things pretty quickly. Yeah. 
So they're leaving dooms on the ground mostly now. And that's why the entire planet is now a desert. May I agree with taking your shots at that thing or not? I will let you people discover why, like, it was a mystery for them for a long time why even Chaos invaded that world. Yep. Merrick, shoot they, it. Uh, they didn't realize why later, but uh, I will let you figure out why they, they had invaded that world uh, once before. Yep, why are you set to... No, that's not... Okay, I misread things for a bit again. Because I thought he was set to melee attack for some reason, but no, we, you can just specifically order a unit to go into melee. Uh, you, you, you like your mushrooms grilled, right? Yep. <laughs> that was a case of them getting, <laughs> getting pre-grilled inside the can. Oh, oh god, no! A can of grilled mushrooms! Wait, is that a thing? Maybe. Again! Okay. Now, this is going to look a lot like a bulldozer just running over an anthill. Oh god. Yeah, again, I, there's certain two people I know that would probably build this if they got the chance. We are and also we, I, we are whittling uh, it down uh, really slowly, like only 300 damage total so far. Oh, oh yeah, I actually learned a bit more about turret armor, and indeed it was in the dark age of technology. It originally, that its original blueprint was meant for mining. It was just retro, well, remade okay. into warfare later. Okay. Like, we haven't seen it before, like, something was originally meant for one thing, but the need decided later remade it into something else. Okay, I, I'm guessing this thing is set to have like 99% damage reduction on everything, basically forcing you to use the uh, barrels. Faster to hell. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, as annoying as it can be that we have to redo each every level each time, like whenever we're facing against the orcs, <laughs> this it still remains smile? fun. Yeah, <laughs> it's just from sheer stupidity and such. And that's going to miss. <laughs> oh, good God! Oh, I guess I can bring up another fact about the, the Kandashans. Yeah. They have no cities. They are... Like, they make temporary cities and keep on moving after a while. For the yeah. bloody plant lines keeps destroying it with a moss that secretes acid that destroys the concrete and all that. Basically, they are in constant warfare with their own damn planet. Yeah. And, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure we could bring this thing down if we just keep at it long enough. But I think we should stop the infinite supply, or uh, the infinite flow of guardsmen and just lure this thing over the explosives. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. That it is indeed a death world, uh, Glacier Boy. And I also remember, many, many people joke that Kandashans are the space Australia. However, Game Workshop appeared to have repeatedly said no. For another regiment, another uh, regiment, I forgot the name of, or they said all the uh, space Australians, which, uh, Group that's more orange colored and more 
laid back like a, a Estonian troop were known back then to be. I forgot the name, sadly enough. Okay. Oh, now it's taking. Uh, okay. Now I get it. We. <laughs> Exploded! Yeah. Okay, but every time we get it to run over the explosive, it blows off a part of its armor. That's why at the end, it actually takes normal damage. <laughs> or maybe even increased. And finally, we, we get the demolition charge pack. I guess we didn't notice for, for so long, because we are so focused on making sure we did not get run over. Yeah. And well, because typically it would be it it tended to be easier to get it to run over the things because there wasn't just a hundred different squads they could go after. Let's see, fire predictions. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Eleven ra extra eleven plus eleven percent range damage plus twelve damage to Tyranids. wielded by Saints Predaxus during the defense of the Cardinal's Palace on Okasi. You know, Ocasis. This flamer seems to burn hotter when in the presence of Tyranids. Okay. Then we have Demolition Man again for the Catachans. Or the Assault Kit for Stormtroopers. Stormtroopers are you know, equipped with overcharged hotshot last guns. Increases range and reduces reload times, but increases damage taken as well. We should try out just a flood of Stormtroopers at one point, because... They are really versatile, that I have also read. Yeah, they, they sound very useful. And let's see, Glacier Boys, Death Worlds have outposts with little communities in, but that's it. Or in Krieg's case, bunker systems, yeah. Yeah, it, the world of Krieg used to, used to be a paradise world, but due to it being another, one of the many worlds that had visits of the Imperium for so little time, they decided that, oh, let's make ourselves independent. And the civil war happened and they nuked the entire world. Hmm. So we went from paradise world to a death world. I say we go for this resource here just to have him have something else. And yeah, burn has the grenades, so let's remove those. And yeah, you can't use those, and neither can you. So, hmm. Either we bring Burn to the front line again to be able to use those, since, well, Merrick's not going to use them. He's at the back line every time. So that's not going to reach. Hmm. What did I hear my phone? Uh, oh, no, not there. Let's see. Whenever Lord Burn takes damage, he heals neighbor allies, increase health. If not, Ogren get bonus health. Mm -hmm. yeah, executing an allied squad member makes both the squad and Lord Burn temporarily invulnerable. Uh, ah, here, orders received. Execute cost less and last longer. Let's take that. And let's see. Armor, 50 and 38. You have 18. You have 34. You're more important, I'd say. Then the secondary one goes to burn. Merrick, you don't really care too much about armor since you're generally at the back line. And Caster has really good armor still. So let's sell these two. Uh, anyone else who can use any new weapons? Auto cannon, last cannon. Okay, that deals more damage, so we're taking that. Uh, last cannon, last cannon. No need for inferior models. Caster could use this one. Let's see. Instantly kill infantry below 20%. Plus 25% accuracy to user and nearby allies. Uh, plus 5 range, plus 13 sight range. Hmm. Now yeah, let's go with that and see how that goes. Okay. Oh dear. I have tracked the transmission to this location on Typhon. It would also appear that the sender is alone, as there is no evidence of any further enemy presence. 
I still don't like this, sir. It feels too easy. You are not required to like it. Just be ready for anything. Whatever happens, we will prevail. Yes, Glacier Boy. Kriegers don't have fun on Pleasure Worlds or Paradise Worlds anyways. <laughs> Yet. Uh, not anymore. <laughs> I think I saw a web, a part of a web comic on that uh, a while back, and it's just a, cre a Kriegsman on the Paradise World and just internally screaming the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, remember something? Something Glacier was sent me uh, mm -hmm. to uh, uh, a little survey we have together. Uh, Uh, you, you remember I told you about that uh, the Hyphen Leviathan recently invaded the Blood Angels? Again, the Blood Angels homeworld and really left it in a mess? Yeah. And you also remember I told you about uh, how Tyrannis have used the genes, yeah, DNA they can collect to make things worse and they deadlier? Yeah. Apparently, it's over footed who decided what to make a yoke on that situation. Supposed to find us here. Warhost, hold fast. They must not disrupt the Seer Council. Hmm. Yeah, what about it all? They get made this... something new again. Uh, th this was more of a yoke thing. You see. You see it, High Lord screaming, "Fucking Horus!" <laughs> Apparently, they, dis they constructed the Blood Rage from the Blood Angels. <laughs> uh, that was a Blood Rage as well. This is a rage that the Blood Angels miss attract, which makes them see Horus and going to berserk. They are hiding so anyone they see, you've lost the element of surprise. And they do not fear us. Perhaps they will appreciate our devotion to the Emperor and our ruthless efficiency. Wait, what? Object targeted. Proceeding uh, with the right. As I say, yeah, the Blood Rangers have a piece of thing that if they enter into the, this rage, now everyone they see is Horus. Let's get to it. And Horus is the one that killed their Primarch. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah, you see how the you went from there. Proceeding with attack. I am on my way. This probably will be terrifying if they if they all see Horde. Okay, if you think you need them, would they even understand who Horus is or okay, even care? So well, if if the, if somehow Tyranids could be down. infected with the Black Rage and they would see each other as uh, they would take up each other to be Horus, they would basically wipe each other out. Oh, that's actually the problem they have with the Blood Angel. They have to use the a, their own chapters called the war, Blood Wardens or something to make sure that their own to help their own troops to not develop the. Black Rage, so oh, that is an actual ready. problem. They have Come attacked each other. Still, the invaders persist. My king, we shall strike them before vanishing. Prepare yourselves. As long as the webway gate remains concealed, we may call in help. We must stop this depraved sorcery. Also, now that I think about it, I should have realized this a lot earlier, but. Kyrus is being really smart with this because he knows that the Eldar are keeping the Inquisition's uh, Exterminatus ships at bay. So by luring, <laughs> by luring whichever faction we're playing as over to the Eldar to take them out, he well, <laughs> two birds with one stone. Okay. And burn, you might want to do more than just poke, <laughs> point your pistol at them. Ooh, sniper. 
Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna read that for Glitch Blue has 10 here. The Black Grace is a curse of the Blood Angels experiencing a part of their father's pain. They see their Prime Mark's final movement, hence they go go to the death company to die in combat and get killed by Shackling afterwards. The Blood Warden are for helping Blood Angels struggling with the Red First, which is related to the Black no, Rage. Unrelated. Unrelated, alright, sorry. Yeah, I'm still uh, new to rule uh, Blood for the Red First and Black Range. Now. And of course, Bird is on his ass. Uh, oh dear. Okay, so that needs to be ended as well. Okay, we. We have a lot less troops at the moment with the, the stormtroopers, but they do seem to be dealing a lot more damage. Pull back. I will move the council to safety. Pull back the tide, brothers. Do not let these invaders find the council again. Displacing now. Okay. Yeah, the problem with stormtroopers is that they are really no, expensive, but they to... don't take up a lot of uh, population. New this is good. Yes. Eldar, 400, 12, 288. See, from Galatia Boy, Red Frost is... Red Frost is their genetic defect which gives them the first for blood. Oh dear. And they can recover from mental issues from the Red First. Oh dear, yeah, I was forgot that they are a bit of a... Almost like angelic vampires. Okay, Merrick, take that thing out, please. Hmm. Thank the Emperor for these weapons. Okay. Now, pick up your commanding officers, please. Uh, I hear you. Fight there, on, okay. Or I'll show you pain. Then we can reinforce. Such small things cannot okay. determine. Uh, is anyone going? There we go. <laughs> okay, reinforce. Okay, and push through. Is it on the boy? And the only blood ancient has broken out the black rage that is Mephisto on the chief librarian of the blood angels. Alright. Okay. That's Rastia getting overconfident again. Okay, what what is with Merrick just not at <laughs> attacking from range? Good question. No, I am running something. I think I some may seems very heavily hinted at from from the seconds of video of this game that when we do Eldar, we may have this this sniper in the game. Yep, and a familiar face at that actually. Oh, a, a bit somewhat familiar, as in a character that has shown up before. Good chance that you'll have forgotten about them, but oh well. Okay, now I'm curious. Okay. Just need to get these dislodged. There we go. <laughs> yeah, when they're aflame like that, then they they're being buffed by the execution. That's proper destroyed. Okay. You're not finished yet. I'm on the It does last for quite a while. And it's already 
Yep, it lasts longer <laughs> than it takes to reload. Okay. And we're getting shot at from off site. Okay. Still getting a bunch of uh, stormtroopers. But in sheer numbers, they are fewer than the f that we had uh, with just guardsmen. Merrick, main target. And Adrastia is running off again. All of you reinforce. Go help the Inquisitor. Oh dear. Burn. Oh, my mouth is dry, so I will let Hillian read the, the shot this time. Okay. Of course, she goes down again. Cast her, pick her up. Pull back a bit. Okay. Uh, let's see. It, um, place where he suffered through the Black Rage while trapped on the rubble. When he was recovered out of the rubble, he'd broken out of it through sheer willpower. He then continued fighting the Tyranids the Blood Angels for battling. Also, Mephiston and Tigerius, the chief librarian of the Old Marines, are the only two psychers to have connected with the Tyranid hive mind and retained their sanity and lives. Both said they sensed an intense amount of malice and hatred emanating from the hive mind. Hmm. That is something that I find conflicting info on at times. Like some oh, sources really say that the hive mind is utterly malicious and so and hateful, on, but other, uh, other the times they it, they just say it doesn't give a fuck. It just wants to have its lunch, and then piss off. I would not be surprised if it, it developed some kind of malice. Ready? I am on my way. Uh, towards. I wouldn't be surprised if they had to do the malice to with some chapters uh, that have survived it. Okay. Let's push through here. Okay, try and get rid of the Exarch. There we go. And then it's just to clean up. <laughs> okay, I'll be read this one. Uh, I'll, the wrong place one. I'll be mad if my foe suddenly called me up and asked uh, how I was feeling. <laughs> Good show, sir. Victory. <laughs> now I'm just picturing the. <clears throat> Now I'm just picturing the hive mind getting out of bed because a fucking psyker decided to uh, prank call it. <laughs> of course it'd be pissed. Uh, let's see. Uh, fitting, of course, that the Imperial Guard calls down a bunker of all things. Uh, let's see. Colonel Gaius Bach of the Creek Second Grenadiers is said to have ended the, Dur uh, the Dunsany heresy with a single shot from the blessed weapon. It was lost during the Raziel Raziel and Crusade when the orcs overran the regiment's position. Plus 10% accuracy, 20% chance of plus 150 damage. Okay. That's... Mm. Plasma rifles are already pretty accurate, but this one has an accuracy of 90 then. And Laser Boy, but it just shows that Mephiston and Tagirius are some of the most powerful psychers in the Imperium, besides the Grey Knights and the Emperor, of course. Let's do hello. <laughs> missile launcher for the Sentinel, which I don't think we've used at all so far. When equipped with the missile launcher, the Sentinel can change from firing crack and frag missiles. Frag missiles are effective against infantry, and crack missiles are effective against you know, vehicles and buildings. And unrelenting scourge of demons. Faster reload, chance on hits to kill blood letters instantly, and energy regeneration. 
Unexplainably effective at destroying demonic targets, its operators have denied credits for numerous kills to avoid raising official curiosity in the weapon and having it confiscated. <laughs> hmm. It is an okay. auto cannon, so we are mostly using Merrick as anti vehicle. Yeah, I, I kind of like, but I do find it a bit odd. Like, only blood letters in the instant kill? That, mm, those, that are base, is... those are, I believe, the only real demonic units that Chaos has in this game. Plus, it'd be is a bit it? awkward if this thing instantly killed Demon Kairos. Uh, uh, true, and I guess you ought to... It's kind of true, yeah. Let's try using a few... Uh, sentinels to add a bit of anti, <laughs> more anti-vehicle uh, power other than just Merrick. Yeah, that used the Kadoshians most. Like, sure, we have Kadoshians with him. Like, I do feel like it's a bit pity they be, we just get an, got an basically demolition squad version of a Kadoshian and not the bull. So, I suspect the uh, Kedishan people would want to join would probably be its own uh, campaign. Probably. <coughs> Let's give you this just in case you do manage to get in close. And let's see, that's more damage, so let's put that on. And yeah, you're the only one who can use those, so extras are a waste. Experience. Uh, Oh, upgrade Kedachan Devils. And let's see. Heavy Bolter for Merrick. Azdrastria getting a Force Weapon. Burn a Power Sword. Or Plasma Gun for Caster. Hmm. Actually, what happens if we give you a Plasma Rifle? Okay, you get Charged Shots. And still he just one-hands it. Then again, that is a, an artificial arm of his. Yeah, okay, that explains why he has been able to walk around with a sniper rifle one-handed. <laughs> Put the old stuff away. Hmm. Yeah, let's run him with the plasma rifles for a bit, see how that goes. Like, he has been prov he, he has proven to be very good at picking off single targets. Uh, so far, but mostly he, mostly it still does the troops that do the most damage, not the heroes here. New upgrades are available <laughs> for your squads. Yeah, that's the missile launcher, and yeah, we got the demolition man upgrade from re from refunding that thing. Anyways, uh, the situation has changed. We need to establish a perimeter at once. I don't think you're going to be able to do that. Unless you can encircle an entire planet. <laughs> Lehman Ross, Vanquisher tank upgrades, and heavy weapons experts for the Catachans. With a grenade wait. launcher. I did not know we could do that with them. That suddenly made them more useful for us. Yeah, that'd be very that they'd be very good for disrupting enemy ranks with that. So mostly I've been thinking of them as scouts for the most part. But yeah, we know what's going to happen here. <laughs> and with which Mir Glacier Boy, the grenade launcher or the demolition man upgrade? The, the rifle I think I mean the plasma. Mind. Somebody is there. Uh, oh, I hear it too. Inquisitor Adrastia, it has been a pleasure. Is it Kairos? I knew I could count on your predictable and narrow minded nature. The Eldar were preventing me from guiding the Exterminatus fleet to Typhon. But you dealt with that problem. Now the way is open. The Exterminatus has arrived. And I could not have done it without you. Enjoy your final moments. 
secure in the knowledge that you helped bring about the destruction of your subsector. Terminatus upon the Imperial world of Typhon Primaris. I hereby sign the death warrant of an entire world and consign a million souls to oblivion. May Imperial justice account in all balance. The Emperor pretends. Bombardment incoming! It must be magnificent to see a planet writhe and scream, to feel it convulse beneath your own feet, witness it dying with living eyes. In time, perhaps I may share this gift with every last living soul in the galaxy. Until then. <laughs> oh dear. Moving now. Yeah, as hammy as it is, it is still rather well impressive with everything, huh? <clears throat> okay, he he actually run the guns with the plasma gun, okay. Uh, yeah, Drusty is not going to be happy about this. Yeah, I, I don't you have that about this at all. <laughs> and again, people, Inquisitors we ex actually don't do, do Exterminators too commonly. They do it at the last resort. Yeah. Now, there, there, there is no other options. Now, they have their own ex minor Inquisitors group, group that they investigate whenever someone has thought Exterminators to make sure I didn't go a certain uh, lunatic way. <laughs> For Exterminators, <laughs> it's not a small deal. Yeah, and technically this is all just uh, softening way. up the planets before the actual Exterminators starts. Okay, so gotta keep moving. Yeah. Hmm. Actually, for the fun of it, <laughs> Let's just have a stream of guardsmen chasing after us. Just getting their asses knocked around by orbital bombardments and de leftover demons. And of the governor militants. Okay. Okay, those, those guardsmen must be really thinking, what the fucking hell did you call us into? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Do we call down the Lehman Russ? Ooh, please, I will see how this works. Yep, more requisition. Oh yeah, well. I would love to see us just drop it on someone. Oh yes, thank you, Glitchboard. That's the, the Inquisitor we're talking about. Inquisitor Cryptman got excommunicated because he went rampant with the uh, exterminators just to try to stop out the Tyranids. Okay. I'm guessing basically by trying to cut a line ahead of the swarm to deny it any food. Yeah, which was probably not the best idea for... Well, it's a damn swarm. There's plenty of planets we goes to go for, and there's only one person. And there goes a, a latent weird boy. Oh dear God! But yeah, you can see why he got excluded, and why they have an uh, uh, increasing group just to investigate whenever someone has done exterminators. But again, it's a damn planet. There's yeah. a lot of resources. You need. 
it needs to be extremely last resort to destroy the planet. Okay, grab these you two. And move on. No time to keep picking fights all along the way. That would need here comes another group of unfortunates. Actually, I should probably call one of these down in the arena here at the end. That Ooh. would probably help a lot. You're right about that. Mm. Eric, primary target. You know, I wonder which one should we play as of the Imperial God? Yeah, we could do the Eldar. That's probably a good idea. And we only have chaos left after that? Ye yep. Think so. I oh, can fit in the end with chaos. <laughs> uh, let's see. Orcs, Space Marines. Uh, Orcs, Space Marines, Imperial Guards. Um, uh, Tyranids. <laughs> I forgot about the fact that they had their own faction in this for a second. So yeah, Orcs, Space Marines, Tyranids, then Imperial Guard now, which leaves only... <clears throat> which leaves only the Eldar and Chaos, yeah. <laughs> um, apparently one of them is playing Dawn for as well. Uh, yeah, I forgot to restart... I forgot to put on the Do Not Disturb mode again. Because we, well, had to restart everything. Okay, move on. Everyone should get teleported over. What is this? You lowly vermin truly think to escape? Ungrateful scum, squandering Lord Kairos' gift of a glorious death! Pay your penance in blood! Blood for the blood god! Skulls for the skull throne! Commander here, right then. Okay. Oh, okay, everything else immediately gets deselected. Okay, I never really noticed that. Okay, get the upgrades. And, well, then we go grab everything here. And into battle we go. Everyone get their flamethrowers. Oh. Shield of Stern. Okay. Stern is a name we've seen come by a few times, I believe. Stern. Stern. Who is Stern? Wait, wasn't he in... I think he was in uh, Winter Assault. He's behind played. I think so he might go back to do the Winter Assault, maybe? A big maybe? A big maybe, yeah. Okay. Once this mission is done, I'll go turn that off. And looks like the bunker isn't actually doing all that much. Maybe because, well, they're equipped with flamethrowers, so they're waiting for things to get closer. No, we can up... Okay, I never... <laughs> I didn't know that you could upgrade some of these. Uh, to a medical bunker, increase the durability of the bunker, increase regeneration rate of allied infantry, and allows infantry to reinforce around it. Let's get that, yeah. Okay, now it's only extremely more useful than expected, wasn't it? Yeah. Especially if you drop one of those in the front line. Yep. 
uh, let's see here, from Glitch Boy. Do either of you have a favorite type of space marine? Mine is the aggressor with shoulder mounted grenade launcher and bolt stone, bolt stone gauntlet. <laughs> I can't say I've heard of those before. But I would put, uh, between normal and Terminator, I would obviously say Terminator. Oh, I'm sure. Maybe Terminator? I never even thought of that. I don't know what kind of concern. Uh, where's a where is a Drastia? Did she just get knocked? No, she she ran off and got herself killed again. Oh dear. I, I, I'm gonna have to save that something, something about uh, salamander terminators. <laughs> so they probably heavily armed with many flamethrowers and melter guns. Grenades. Okay, they're, they're whittling down the champion. Okay, Merrick, can you go grab her already? Burn cover with grenades. Oh, and Caster can have his up. fight. I'm Get no pizza. Uh, where did that champion go? How about you, Pizza? How are you? Uh, there they are. <laughs> Burn is picking a fight with them now. Okay. Demon blades? They didn't even drop from the champion. <laughs> Just dropped them some random. Okay. Let's get out of here. Grab that as well. Yeah, uh, let's see. Uh, pizza, how are you? Hydra here, how are you? Also, uh, doing decent, I'd say. And you? Okay. You married getting picked on by some orcs. Okay, just. Get everyone close enough. There we go. I think this counts the moment that all of your heroes are near the thing. Everyone else is well expendable. Let's see, Pizza, what I'm doing really amazing, actually. The thing I said in one of your streams has come true. Okay, which then? And Seven. we can get... <laughs> Open bodyguards. Okay, that's going to be something. <laughs> Let's see. Hand of the Governor Militant. This power fist was um, was born, born probably by General Lucas Alexander, Milit Governor Militant of Cronus, during the Dark Crusades. Recovered from his body following the Battle of Victory Bay, the General's memory has been redeemed by the treachery of uh, the Blood Ravens. Uh, Ravens. How, what is a tradition? Yeah, how how would some or uh, oh wait, I'm I'm guessing he fought against the Blood Ravens during the Dark Crusades and basically got branded a heretic or such, and well with the Blood Raven chapter or the, a good chunk of it going traitor that would redeem him on that. Okay, it took me a moment. Stalwart shield of the te uh, tetrarchs. Reloads more, less frequently. Uh, plus five to chaos space marines. Okay. This heavy bolt was stationed outside the main gate of the Tetrical Palace on Mordian during the chaos insurgency on the pla of the planet. The stalwart reputation of the Mordian Iron Guard was severely tried in the battle, but this bolter never fell silent. And the shield of Stern. This armor belonged to General Stern of 40, uh, 412th Cadian, who heroically led his regiment to recover a fallen Imperator Titan on Lorne 4 and 5. Yeah, so that, that is the main character of the uh, Imperial Guard with uh, <clears throat> Winter Assault. Uh, Demon Blades. 
Members of the Inquis Inquisition who deem it possible and even necessary to harness the powers of the warp in the fight against chaos are termed radicals and denounced by puritanical factions of the Inquisition. Yet the potency of the monarch and Xenos weaponry is unquestionable, and Inquisitor Adrastia considers timid inertia to, the greater sin, uh, to be the greater sin in mankind's war. Okay, so she would fall amongst the, the radicals of the uh, Inquisition then, or she be labeled as such. Yeah. And um, yeah, Puritan and Radicals have their own pros and cons. And then we have Tank Killer. More damage against vehicles, but negative armor rating. This Ultima Pattern Melt Anti Gun has been the doom of scores of tanks throughout the uh, Corinius sector, but it's considered an unlucky weapon since its users so often meet a gruesome end. <laughs> oh dear. Oh yeah, no, no, no. Tration is. It's a culture around Greece. Okay, and hello in chat, Marco. It is human nature to seek culpability in a time of tragedy. It is a sign of strength to cry out against fate, rather than to bow one's head and succumb. Inevitably, many shall fault the hands upon the sword which felled Typhon the Ordo Malleus. But the Inquisition merely performs the duty of its office. To further fear them is redundant. To hate them, heretical. Those more sensible will place responsibility with those who forced the hands of the Inquisition. With some fortune, they may foster this hatred into purpose further rule their own fate by coming to the Emperor's service. Yet ultimately, it was I who set these events into motion with a single blow from my hammer, God Splitter. And Marco just woke up, so that was... <laughs> we can consider that a wake-up call to him there with a big boom. Um, oh! Oh yeah, I think you missed something. Pizza is able to stream! Yeah, let's see. Uh, uh, what thing has come true, you might be asking. Well, my good friends, I have set up everything to now start streaming. I have set up chat overlays, sound alerts... Uh, <laughs> I presume you mean sound alert, not so alerts. Commands and etc. Uh, and I had eight, nine test streams today, and everything went well. <laughs> well, hello there, Marco. How is everyone doing today? Uh, Marco, my shift was cruel. Didn't get a wink of sleep until 3 p.m. and woke up a bit ago. Ah, uh, damns. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, good to hear, Pizza. And uh, what game are you planning to stream first? And are you planning to stream more for story or more for uh, just random shenaniganery stuff and such? Oh dear. <coughs> Let's see. Uh, armor of Inspiration plus seventy percent uh, yeah, suppression resistance to all nearby allies, plus fifty armor rating to all nearby allies. Okay, this would be really good for someone in the leads, because well, it would just picture this amongst a just a a wave of Imperial Guardsmen. Just all of them with 50 extra armor. Not that we know how much armor they usually have. And being really hard to suppress as well. Let's see. Adorned with tokens of piety and devotion to the Emperor and Imperium, this finely made armor uh, formerly belonged to a member of an influ influential noble family. Okay. Then we have an upgrade for the Lehman Ross to turn it into an, a tank killer or vehicle killer and grenades for the counter chance. I'm very tempted to grab this. Yeah, that's the one is tempted and everyone can use it. Yep. Hmm. Actually, we could put it on Burn then, since uh, Burn or Drastia, since they're typically on the front line. Um, yeah, that may have benefit more. Like, Limros is good, but... Hmm. But yeah, the armor might be more useful. Let's see, and Bird also gets an upgrade. Uh, yeah, melee superiority. Yeah, otherwise, <clears throat> more, yeah, 
Da -da -da. Prevent him from being knocked back by most attacks. If not deployed, infantry gets less melee damage. Uh, mm -hmm. Do significantly move damage and execute instantly recharges. Ability charged by taking damage. We haven't tried this draw their fire yet. Um, I believe there is supposed to be one of these... Yeah, one upgrade to execute that makes the target immune. I think I looked it over earlier, but I think I've missed out here. Till the last. Executing an allied squad member makes both the squad and Lord Burn temporarily invulnerable, which would mix really well with draw their fire. Hmm. But let's see. Hmm. We have only three points left that we can spend on him. So, shall we go for Till the Last then with him? Hmm. Uh, huh. Probably. He may have melee bonus with another thing there, but still. Till the Last might be maybe more useful. I'm not sure here, actually. The other one does benefit with the guards. Hmm. And I think this is yeah deals significantly more damage and execute instantly recharges. This is basically more for using it as an offensive thing, not for buffing. Hmm. Let's go that way then to till the last. Don't think we'll get too much use out of it, but we'll have to see how that goes. Um. And yeah, let's give you some actually good armor for the moment. A new power fist as well. And let's see, pizza. Uh, ta -ta. Oh yeah, sound alert, not solar alerts, my bad. But technically solar alerts is also true because to play my sound alerts you need to give up a part of your soul. Uh, Marco, it's true, I don't have my soul anymore. I wasted it on playing Never Gonna Give You Up by Rick Astley. <laughs> And pizza, well, I stream on a not very good laptop, so I can't stream games from my Switch, but I am mostly planning yeah, planning to play games like Scribble, Gartic Phone, Cards Against Humanity, Jackbox, just games I can play with viewers, since I just want to have fun and make a community I can call family. Okay, I know my laptop sucks awfully, and stream quality is also probably going to be awful, but I'm going to start out somewhere, yeah. And you better tell me I stream from my phone... <laughs> And the quality I use is 480p, uh, while you use 614p. Uh, it's a 614. One guy told me it was 440. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that you can find and look up on streaming and such online. Like, person, <clears throat> uh, the way I th have s yeah, yeah, the way I th have things set up is that I actually stream at s what was it 1600 by 900. That way you could both, you, know, you could you know, choose to either uh, upscale it to 1080 or go down to 720. Uh, but I think that's actually more just an affiliate thing, so it'd be probably wasted. Uh, I'll, I'll actually keep the movement speed on you. Uh, you take the Rosarius. And let's see. How much range is that? 39, 51, 39, 21. Hmm. Actually, let's give you let's give you the tank killer. It does lower your armor to only five about no fifty-five? Is there something I'm getting? Uh hold on a sec. How how is your armor rating 90? We have 40 here. Oh right. Plus 50 to all nearby allies. Hmm. Actually. Would that stack? I I'd completely forgotten that <laughs> that caster already has a plus fifty plus fifty armor rating uh, around him. But if that mixes together with burns, does that mean that we'd have <laughs> our troops would have plus one hundred armor? Maybe. Hmm. And also, should we give him the Ogrin bodyguards? Let's actually see what those do. Is 
Uh, plus 20 health to squads. Adds an ogre into the commander's retinue. Yeah, let's <laughs> let's swap that around a bit. I, I'm a little bit disappointed that his uh, his retinue doesn't show up over here. Yeah, that, it would be fun if they did. Let's see. Uh, yeah, let's give that a try. And we know where this is going to end up. Uh, pizza. Well, most of the things I set up, I had to learn on my own since I do not know about streaming well at all and also not use OBS Studio, which is what I use. Uh, OBS Studio is what I use as well. I believe it is actually the most used one. Uh, Marco, oh shit, there's a dragonfly in my room. <laughs> and then Pizza asking, wonder why it's called a dragonfly. Hmm. Good point on that, actually. Uh, become something else in Sweden. You're on a ship? No, a space hulk. The Judgment of Carrion, if I am not mistaken. We need to establish a perimeter at once. You bloody arrogant fool! Merrick, stand down. You killed them all, Caster. All of them, gone, because of your incompetence. You think I'm incompetent? Sergeant Major, the destruction of Typhon was inevitable. Between the Eldar, Orcs, and Tyranids, there was no saving that world. Now that was his homeworld. I helped speed its demise, and at a time when there were relatively few men on the planet. Few? Few? There were thousands of guardsmen on Typhon! Good men, serving the Emperor, and you let them all die. Merrick! A guardsman's life is to die. My job has always been to send them to places where they can die. I'm not afraid to spend them, but I never waste men. Because of their sacrifice, the Inquisitor has the proof she needs. You do have the proof you need, don't you, Inquisitor? I felt, Kairos, what was inside him. He is not alone. Then I suggest we find him, so we can end this once and for all. Where? I was inside his mind and still could not tell you that. One planet will be spared, because it has already been cleansed decades ago. Cyrene. Where better to hide, but on a dead world? Kairos will be waiting there, I promise you. Feeding on the death of the other worlds. And... And you knew this all along. Much of it. He's not as clever as he thinks he is. I put the rest together on Typhon. Now, Sergeant Major, you can proceed with your attempt to kill me. But as I mentioned, I don't waste men if I can avoid it. And killing you for insubordination would be very... wasteful. Are Bird you with standing me? ready behind him. <laughs> Commander here. Ready and able. Okay, that was actually a really good bit of cinematic flair on this all. Oh yeah! It's just too bad that it's so unevenly distributed amongst everything. Yeah, it's probably easy to figure out which one was able to get the most time and which one's got the short stick. Invaders! Hooligans and ne'er-do-wells! Nobody! Well, nobody just puts Earth in air on this here space hulk without me say so. Now face off, or I'm like to say so to something nasty. Commander, okay. onward to victory. Right then, <laughs> moving. Yeah, over to the side. Go ahead. Dragonflies is sweet as our Tron Slendor. Yeah, we made all the trolls. <laughs> Troll flies? Yeah, uh, Fluga is fly. Fliga is to also fly, but uh, that's a different term then. But Slender? I am unsure what that would be in English. Right. So I think the only time I've ever heard it's slender use is for, well, there is that insect, I think. Okay. 
So it might be an older word, or I just haven't noticed the t word used for something else. <laughs> for all oh, yeah. a lot of words not no longer in use. And uh, yeah, caster proving he is a lot smarter than you might think of an Imperial uh, officer. Yeah. And a lot more considerate as well. Always more to learn. <laughs> For that he gets a level. <laughs> uh, let's see. Da -da -da -da. Pizza. Well, I mean, it's probably like the mountain chicken, which, if I'm correct, is neither a chicken nor does it live in on mountains, if I'm correct. <laughs> which I probably am, since it's actually a frog. Okay. I'd heard of a, a subspecies of cat that's called jungle cat. Just that. And, well, they don't live anywhere near jungles. <laughs> okay. Uh, Marco. Well, I'm gonna lurk since I'm, I'm grinding on Yakuza. Uh, to get enough money for the skill tree because I want to 100% uh, the game. Okay, good luck with that, Marco. Let's see. Okay, now we can call in some new units. Uh, like a Gnatra kit? I don't think Slender would be Gnatra. You know what? Are we actually looking it up? Maybe it's in my big English book. Okay, and time to start the flood of bodies again. No, actually, let's pause that a bit. Let's see if we can actually call in that Lehman Russ this time. Before I forget again. Is there actually a way to get over there? Seems the orc's device is drawing power from the teleportarium. We'll have to detonate theirs to use ours. I have shooters up through here. Can we actually oh, even get there? Oh yeah, there's a le there's stairs going down there. Oh well. This way. No real reason to go back for that. Okay. <laughs> Right over there. I already turned that off there. Oh, hey. Merrick, primary target. Okay, I have... That's a good answer, because there's two of them. Oh. It may refer to a... ...instrument called... Dis ...distaff? I don't know what a distaff is. But otherwise, it seems to... To refer to otherwise uh, dra dragonflies or mayflies. Okay. So he might be using term for very few insects. These are probably not many. <laughs> okay, and thank time. Wait, we, we can just keep calling these down as long as we have the resources for it? Okay. Uh, wait, I, just, I missed your drop in the Lehman Ross. Damn it. Well, once we have enough resources, we'll drop in another. Will it, 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 it be effective when you drop it on enemies? Probably not. Damn it. It, it, it wouldn't make sense. Like, if you drop an attack on a infantry group, you expect them to be, well, squashed. Yep. Okay. Get rid of the Tyranids. Yep. Turn your ass around. <laughs> okay, keep on moving, you idiots. But, yeah, I, I think we could try a mixture of just ordinary guardsmen and Lehman Russes and see how that goes. You mean the classical guardsmen combo? 
Yep. And I said also a lot of artillery. <laughs> Decoration of Macarius, okay, I'll take that, freebie. Okay, the orcs and gene stealers must be fighting over there. Hmm. Actually, I just had a bit of a thought. If they were, if they ever make a Dawn of War 4, or a game similar to it, uh, it could be interesting if they made it similar to some similar to like company of heroes or something i don't believe it should make it its own spin-off uh, maybe not call it on war but something else but uh come as company of heroes maybe though is ain't that style of games extremely niche not too it, it is similar to dawn of war but it's it, Oh dear. Be safe, Glacier Boy! And I will behave. Mostly. <laughs> See you next time. But yeah, uh, Company of Heroes is in some. It, they recently had that third game released, I think. Though I don't think I. Uh, I don't remember it being reviewed that well. Uh, but it. It's plays somewhat similar to Dawn of War. It doesn't really have heroes, I believe. Um, okay, I'm just, I'm just Have you streamed one of the uh, Company of Hero games? We have showcased one, yeah. Oh, showcased. Uh, oh. It, it plays similar to this, but it it's it uses more hard countering with things. Like if the enemy has. It, Basically, if we had a heavy weapons team facing down the way, then you would need to get around them to actually hurt them or send in something that they can't hurt that well, like a, a vehicle. Like in this, if we if we throw enough guardsmen at a tank, eventually the tank will lose. But in Company of Hero style, uh, yeah, you would need explosives. You. <laughs> You could throw millions upon millions of <laughs> troops against a tank in that, or no. But as long as they don't have the, yeah, strong enough weapons to actually puncture the armor, it, they would lose no matter what. Oh, I think I know what you mean then. Uh, uh, yeah, it might work for Imperial Guards. Yeah. Like in, it makes some sort of sense that with enough laser fire, you could, you would get a tank to just get killed eventually. But mm, yeah, it basically a company of hero style game in of Dawn of War would basically exaggerate the strengths and weaknesses a bunch. Like Lehman Rosses would be oh. immune to most small fire, you know, small arms fire, except for the actually destructive, uh, <coughs> extra destructive ones. Oh gosh, it's or explosive that's... ones at least. If you do a game like that in Git 40k, Imperial God versus Tyranid. Oh yeah. <laughs> that, that or Gene Steel Cult. Or. Firstly, jeans they called fight probably the similar to Imperial Guard, just get this addition with Gene Stealers. Oh, okay, now I see. Units standing on the ring when the ability concludes take heavy damage. So it's not just it's a it's a literal circular AoE. As in it it only deals damage on the circle on the ring of the circle itself. Okay. Beyond that, it stuns anything that the flames pass through. Okay. Hey. I read that. Yeah, I read that ability wrong. Oh, oh hi, kitchen. You've come to steal me teleporter. Well, nothing doing. It took me bad in a decade to squeeze the juice out of that thing back there. Should only be another decade or so 
before I get to sap me out of this bug infested alone. Maybe if he spent less time teleporting around Tyranids, he would have gotten himself out of here a long time ago. Proceeding with attack. But I guess we yeah, all need hobbies. <laughs> yeah, do I think he has caught a bit of a space madness? Yeah. <laughs> Beyond just being an orc. <laughs> Can't requisition this, sir. Not now. Uh, let's see. Pizza. I like the map. It reminds me of the cube from Portal for some reason. Uh, damn, Freddy has been through some stuff, I guess, after those five nights at the pizzeria. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm already concerned with the poor pizza. <laughs> okay, I forget if it says if the, the basic Lehman Ross is better against infantry. I presume it is since the upgrade that we could grab for it makes it specifically anti-vehicle. Though it still does plenty of damage against vehicles anyways. Yeah, do we have, have another Lehman Ross upgrade? Hmm, not sure if there is a second one after. We can check after the mission is done. Hmm. Let's see, Pizza, you know you have made it as being funny on the internet when you can make two streamers at the very least laugh. <laughs> Okay, at the very least, I very much doubt that your streams will be boring, Pizza. <laughs> Armored Command Distinction. That sounds like it would be for the Lehman Russ, so we might just get that upgrade for free. <laughs> Anyways, can we finally bring in a Sentinel to see what that rocket la missile launcher, not the rocket launcher, actually does? As these two tanks and just a single squad and four men, well, three men and a woman uh, go right. Let's see, extra armor, missile launcher. Can we get multiple upgrades? Like with the units, or is it just a single one? Okay, multiple upgrades that you can get with this. Okay. That Actually, someone makes them more useful. Burn, can you... No, we can't use that on the, <laughs> the mech. And there go our tanks. Oh, well. We have replacements. Oh, dear. Wait. That's it. At... Where the heck did that... Don't think too much about it. What's... Oh. Okay. You can we can put more and more armor on these things. Ooh. Where does it just refill it? Okay, yeah, it just refills it. And it doesn't even cost anything. Okay. That would make these those things a lot more tanky than I originally thought them to be. Okay, another tank yeah, lost, I another tank gained. Uh, Merrick, can you take those out, please? Caster, also here, focus. I don't think we may have to finish the Imperial Gods today. Probably. I think there's at least one more side mission coming up. Adrastia, what the fuck are you doing over there? Go kick his ass. There's several. I think there's several side quests uh, remaining. Like, yes, sure, we have extra time since we were delayed. So we definitely have room for at least uh, maybe one or two more missions. But I think next time we play, play the Dawn of War, we'll probably be finishing the Imperial Guard and starting with the Eldar. Yeah. Good show, sir. Victory. <clears throat> Rocket run. 
Call in two Valkyries to perform a targeted rocket pod runs to devastate the army. So, ba so basically, just call down uh, two, A uh, two A130 Warthogs to just decimate the area. And oh, let's see. Okay, decoration more Macarius. Just experience. And yep, yeah, recycle to upgrade Lehman Russ. <laughs> and the Pride mm -hmm. of Bandits. Let's see. Lowers recharge time of execute. Using execute restores some health. So this one is specifically for burn. Well, Adrastia can also equip it, but would that would that give her executes? Let's see. A prized artifact stolen by the traitorous governor Vandus of Meridian. It was used as a palatial decoration and thus not recovered during the Blood Raven's assault on Angel Forge. Okay, so basically the motherfucker hung it on the wall, and because of that, the, the Blood Ravens ignored it. Oh, damn. I've never got to see the guy. True. I'm guessing he, end, he, yeah, he ended up there. Let's see. And, yeah, there is... Let's actually close it up for a second. Time to Oop. finish this. Kairos is waiting and ready for us, so this will be quite a challenge. But if we... Permission to speak freely, sir. Since when have you needed permission for that, Sergeant Major? <laughs> Go ahead. Well, sir, Kairos may be waiting, but he's done nothing but underestimate you since you and the Inquisitor arrived. Damnation, even I underestimated you. <laughs> underestimated us. Anyway... He may be waiting for us, but I can guarantee you he's ready for us, if you know what I mean. By the time he is ready, well, but it's just too late for him. Perhaps he will live long enough for me to question him. I have so many questions. Uh, she's going to enjoy that. Okay. Yeah, we're going to look at new upgrades. Let's see. Yeah, Lehman Russ, uh, Vanquisher, and then ex Executioner. Effective against all targets. Okay. Uh, we still need to pick up our reward first, so, though. So, let's see. Recognition of the comm Commissariat. 45% melee, uh, uh, melee damage resistance. A good soldier obeys without question. A good officer commands without doubt. Tactica Imperium. Okay, let's get the upgrade, and then we use the other one to get the the last upgrade for the ter <clears throat> for the Lehman Ross. Yeah, but uh, that tank is. Wait, did you use the right one? Yep, the other ones are for experience, experience, gift of the artificer, and experience. <clears throat> All right. Uh, instantly restore a squad to full health can be combined with the trait and will, which is that one, which restores them to full energy. Uh, yeah, let's do that. It would work well along with uh, execute to restore a squad. Adrastia. Um, let's see. Enemies attacking allies protected are occasionally stunned. When receiving critical health, Adrastia becomes invulnerable and heals to full. Render an allied unit invisible to the enemy for a duration, but they reveal if they attack or get too close. Uh, suppressed units deal less damage and lose time over health. Increase energy. Increase the health damage and speed of the honor guard that replace her. Assail. Drain energy from the enemy squad, suppressing and immobilizing them. Hmm. Uh, we haven't really been using Shield of the Righteous that much, so I think we actually go this way. And with Merrick, uh, deploy mines in the designated location. Regains health for enemy enemy he kills. Silent, able to use infiltrate while, without revealing himself. If he is not deployed, to get a chance with sergeants, can now move while cloaked. And remote detonation. Hmm. None that are actually too interesting, I must say. Hmm. Yeah, having him able to heal yeah. of each kill sounds useful, since he probably be killing a lot. Yeah. 
So he hasn't really been fallen uh, Ling too much to begin with. Yeah, we've been using our heavy weapons units as anti-tank most every time, which always tends to put him at the back line. Uh, let's see, pizza... Ta -ta -ta. I hope they won't uh, be honestly. I have 40 followers, but I've never deserved any 37 followers except three because they are from uh, when I first had streams back in 2020. Valkyries, Rockets, who the hell gave these women missiles? Uh, I never got permission to speak because aren't you already speaking though? I might just be stupid. It, it basically just means, uh, typically it's used... Uh, <laughs> Will you let me say something without immediately shooting me? <laughs> uh, let's oh, see. Oh, gods. Uh, pizza, imagine you were just practicing with your sword and you turn around you know, to do a slice and then for some reason blood is appearing out of nowhere and your blade looks like it's stuck in air. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that oh. would be awkward, but also be probably a, a good thing. <laughs> Things considered. I don't think I've seen that happen in a movie you see so far. Definitely like it should have been made a joke already. Let's see. Shield of Stern. 50% chance, 30% chance to heal. Let's hmm. Let's give that to Adrastia. Maybe? Yeah. If she really needs to. Okay. <laughs> Finally one that gives it her a bit extra. Um, let's see. Yeah, we're about to hit 5 p.m. We did start later, but I think we shouldn't take, we shouldn't push things on for too long. Yeah, and so yeah. we, again, as I say, we might be able to do maybe one or two more missions. Hmm. Okay, this is a bit odd. For some reason, the extra armor on Sentinels isn't unlocked, but we could use it before. Hmm. Yeah, let's try at least one optional. Uh, the quarantine hold, if I remember correctly, this one takes a little bit of time. This one should be pretty quick. Brothers and sisters, the human ships have carved large fissures into the world. Some deep enough to cleave the buried craft world. We located the infinity circuit. The flames reach deep and every biodome, every soul stone. Nothing remains for us here. All to report to the Webway Assembly. Once we return to the Webway, we will collapse the channel to the craft world, sealing this tomb for eternity. Ah, Eldar. I have many questions for them. Okay, here we go. And yeah, with craft worlds getting destroyed, it's not just that they lose a craft world, it's also that they lose all of the well, countless souls of their ancestors inside the craft world in the Infinity Circuit. You, you dare violate this tomb, you pathetic soulless savages! Very well. If you are so eager to hear our cries, I shall shred your mind with the wail of the Banshee! Butcher them! Do not let them near the gates or the assembly! I am under So, yeah, the whole thing with Eldar... Um, you're not very... You're not very original with your lines, are you, Adrastia? But, yeah, basically, Kraut Wolves are living repositories of, uh, yeah, their ancestors since, well... If an Eldar dies while well, they're carrying a soul stone and that thing gets brought to a craft world, it's Infinity Circuit, then basically the the soul gets put into the, the bones uh, the bones of the craft world itself. And Merrick. So yeah. When a craft world dies, so so with it does the millennia of uh, history and souls which are locked inside the craft world. Yeah, I don't get Drawn to Slanesh to devour. Yeah, to be devoured. Yeah, apparently, Major Kill is who is a lore YouTuber that I have a bit mixed opinions on. Notice that from some books from 2016 18 actually revealed some retcons 
but he he is hopeful that they're uh, hoping that the game works out are not are just gonna ignore and not to continue on so it would make possible okay uh, there's a record that will just cause the war heaven and the birth of Slanesh into a lot of question like they were born 10,000 years ago but they still never have put them in the war of the heaven but they should and then explain the way but that the chaos of no time and space and they could be in war heaven even before we you hear the problem here yeah then Amos were not supposed to be part of the war in the heaven either. And they said that the before war of the heaven, Necron, Eldar, and the old ones were fighting a demon. Yeah, you hear the problem here. Yeah. Like, I'm okay when people do retcons for the if they do retcons for the right reason or add to old lore that expands something. We'll capture it, sir. But from what I understand from Mr. Kill, these pots I have to agree, seem to add not add to it, just more complicated or necessarily. Yeah. Or to the point of it should not work. Let's and see, I it's, um... Bill, I have mixed opinions about the major kill. Let's see, pizza. I mean, I haven't seen any movies with invisibility as a power uh, that I was that I guess was mainstream. Uh, I guess other than one movie, I can't remember the name of. Was I think a detective? Can't remember it well. Uh, an invisible detective would be a pretty great combo, though. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's a few old ones like that. New report. Uh, uh, that loading noise that played exactly sounds like the sounds like when you rested a bonfire in Dark Souls. Adrestia or Andrestia, because I think one of this person, uh, what if this person in this game and other is the name of your ship in AC Odyssey. I, I know that it is similar to, uh, it is similar to that ship name. I can't remember it exactly though. I or I addressed here, maybe it, it, it was called? I'm unsure. <laughs> oh, there's something uh, the ground there. Hmm? Oh, Barisader? Okay, that sounds a bit <laughs> edgy. Anyways. The Bobo Rist Her. What the hell is a Bobo Rist Her? No clue, but we are going to see what uh, this up the executioner upgrade does to this thing. That of course puts a big fucking plasma cannon on it. What the fuck that was in one of the models? A, a rapid fire <laughs> plasma cannon. Okay. Yeah. It, it is said that the Imperial Guard does have the best uh, tanks in the series and such. Are you facing the right way? Yes, you are. They also get... They also get a plow. Okay. Okay. Ah, we don't have enough capacity. Yeah, this, this thing... Yeah, this, this thing just deletes. It just selects all and hits delete on them. Okay. Wait, he's realized. Did we unlock our Bane Blade tank? Not yet, actually. Hmm. Do we even get the Bane Blades? We should. Hmm. Yeah, we well, don't we have it all available it. here. Maybe unlock it on one of the other side missions to where we actually find some Bane Blades? Probably there, yeah. No, we don't do it for I, 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 think the orcs, I think the orcs just got it released early or something. Hmm. 
I said Bane Blade, not Pain Blade, oh Bane Blade. <laughs> Oh god! Yep. What killed that? Go like a man distinction. Okay. It's probably an upgrade for something else. And yeah, no need to really capture all of this since the end goal is already inside here. So just rapid fire that thing down. Okay, it, it fires in bursts, but it still fires really quickly compared to anything else. Yeah, and if you have two, do first with eliminate two things. The Inquisition's ships come for all in this sector. It matters not whether you die by our hand or theirs. But yeah, a few of those, a Bane Blade, and a bunch of Guardsmen around it, that would certainly be a force to be reckoned with. And I forgot to turn off yeah. the Do Not Disturb, turn on the Do Not Disturb mode. Stormtrooper bodyguards. Uh, let's see, Barbarisator. Uh, attacks return a portion of their damage as health, so it's Vampiric. Extra energy and extra damage against Space uh, Chaos Marines. The famed Inquisitor Gregor Eisenhorn used this Cartharian War Saber to slay the infamous renegade Inquisitor Quiscus and the arch heretic Pontius Claw. Glaw. Its short, reinforced blade hums with barely contained power and hungers for the blood of chaos. Um, Eisenhorn. Upgrade stormtroopers. He, he, was, he was supposed to have had a. to have got an easy Netflix series a little while back, but nothing happened of it. Okay. Yes, I want books. <laughs> and one game. And then we have Chest Burster, plus 100 health, 50% chance uh, per hit of knockback and extra damage. For generations, Imperial armorers have wondered at the unique mechanism employed within this bolter. Its rounds have a tendency to tear even greater gaping wounds in organic targets than normal. On one occasion, Sergeant Mirowski of the Valhallen 12-11th uh, uh, blasted out the heart of a rampaging Crotox. Okay, I'm presuming that's a what, big beast. Uh, they are related to the crew. And I, if I remember right, the, the Crotox is either the gorilla shaped one or the ones that look like a T-Rex. Okay. Tiger's Gaze, Air of Effects, uh, extra move speeds, 40% uh, yeah, 40 extra damage to Chaos Marines, slows enemies for 5 seconds. Captain Alraham of uh, the Talaran 3rd Desert Tigers Regiment moored his plasma gun during one of the engagements in his legendary guerrilla campaign against the Chaos Worshipping Witches of Thoth uh, during the Macarian Crusades. The holy light of this weapon is set to burn the very souls of witches and heretics while the superheated plasma incinerates their bodies. Okay, do we grab that for Castor or shall we go with uh, anti-armor kit for stormtroopers? So we can already get that from the commendation. And then we can combine it to get their, their last upgrade as well. So good gun or... Okay, game got deselected for a sec, or anti-armor kit for stormtroopers. Oh, that's a hard question for... Hmm. We will face a lot of chaos marines. Yeah, I think we grab this one then. Yeah. Okay, burn gets a level. And... Uh, yeah, hmm. go to that. Hmm. Okay, now I'm unsure we are able to do one more or not. Yeah, we probably shouldn't overdo it too much. Uh, yeah. Let's see, pizza... Uh, ta -ta -ta, kind of type of shit. When Marco heard Blaine, <laughs> Bane Blade... Uh, Bay Blade instead of Pain Blade. Uh, pizza, <laughs> Bane Blade, Pain Blade, let it rip. <laughs> that that would be the Max Ma Mad Max version of Bay Blade. Where people have to dodge those things around, you know? <laughs> yeah, I think both of them would be mishearing what we'd be saying. We said Bane... Play, not pain. B A N E. Bane. Uh, like the, one of the Batman villains. 
With a mask. Did you a bit better armor? Less speed on him, but oh well. Then we sell these two. Um, let's see. Burn or Adrastia. That's a big upgrade on you. And all oh right, we forgot to look. Does it? Does this give you the execute ability? No, it does not. Let's give you the force blade, the demon blade. Then I forgot to give swap that around to you earlier as well. There, sell that, sell that. And Liz is online apparently. <laughs> okay. I think we're pretty good for the rest of the game then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, one more side mission, then then we should be getting closer to the end, yeah. And yeah, we would have like five minutes. Like if we had ended that other mission on like uh, on the dot, on the hour, then I would say yes, we take the, the escort one, but now, yeah, not on five minutes. And plus this way, the the next stream of this won't last only 15 minutes or so before yeah. we move on. <clears throat> uh, anyway, the pizza, so it's a semi-auto plasma cannon then? No, it's more burst than semi-auto. Uh, see, I didn't even hear you say Bane Blade, Pain Blade or Bay Blade. <laughs> Okay, but yeah, that is where we'll have to end today's stream. Later today, we will likely continue with Dave the Diver, if nothing gets in the way. I think we are, I think we have exhausted most of the new content beyond what we would just find by basically grinding out the <clears throat> breeding pairs or rare fish. Uh, so I think after after the next stream of Dave the Diver, we move that to more, e not more edited, but more cut down vi videos to uploads to YouTube. While just play off stream, uh, probably with Drakir talking as well, if they want to join in for that. Um, that makes perfect sense. But again, it, it's basically spending time with a friend for me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, since it is random uh, it, when the red mist and such appears. And speaking of, I've, I've actually been thinking about starting a new channel on YouTube where to upload more cut down uh, versions of the uh, VODs. Uh, so in, it <clears throat> uh, basically with the current channel, I upload the full videos of the streams there in their full entirety so the full two hours and such but on that other channel i'll be cutting it up into parts of like 20 to 30 minutes now not like highlights more like uh, more like typical let's play length uh, <clears throat> videos i have done that before with some let's plays that i made years and years back where i would do a long recording of a level and then cut it up into parts with <clears throat> But we'll have to see how that goes. Yeah, I'm, I'm split on the like. Sometimes I understand when people do multiple channels to split them up like that. But other times it does feel like when they do that, it may actually harm the, harm the, YouTube in some ways. Hmm. I think so it's, it's done in parts because YouTube is just very anal with stuff. Like if you step out of the lane that they've assigned to your channel, uh, then they really don't promote it or push it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Basically, if if you always make like two hour videos of stuff um, and you make shorter videos, then for some reason they go, mm, no like, no, uh, we're not going to put this or not give this any chance of being uh, shown in recommended videos and such. So yeah, I weird. don't think cutting it up on the channel would help. But yeah, we'll, we'll yeah. just see how that goes. I'll, maybe I'll just call it uh, the new channel Captain Hillian and just upload the 20 to 30 minutes uh, versions of the streams to there. <clears throat> yeah, it's definitely something for, again, I seen it do both good and bad, since, again, in the past it was usually a bad idea hmm. to split it up, but now it might be recommended, like, it's hard to know since so the algorithm keeps changing. Yeah, but either way, 
for now let's go look for someone to raid so just going to remove the projector from always on top so i can actually look and let's see uh change the screen share so Turkia can also look uh there yeah okay this might look a bit awkward with drastia just frozen up there but i think for games that do continue to play audio when they're deselected it will make things a little bit more interesting than just <laughs> us two talking at each other with this since we don't really use the end screen anymore with the music or the background music on that uh let's see we have moonrise who is playing Baldur's gate 3 Dr. Misunderstood with Lost Judgment, Zina Vilia with Lethal Company, Darknet Luigi with Monster Hunter World, Doug and Douglas McDoug with Crash Bandicoot, Isaiah Rusier with The Axe at 8, Sour Walrus with Valheim, Grim the Wolf also Monster Hunter World, New Gundam Gaming, haven't, been, haven't seen them in a while, they're playing Yu Gi Oh! Master Duel, WBPL is streaming Breath of the Wild. Kenai is streaming Terraria. Gracious the Dwarf is having a psychology open house. And last but not least, Zoe is just chatting at the moment. <clears throat> any suggestions? Or let's see, any. Uh, does it. Uh... <laughs> Pizza, call it Captain Drillion. <laughs> okay. Uh, no uh, suggestions this time, uh, Pizza? Uh, I think they said recommended Moonrise earlier. This uh, is on the list here. Ah, right. Uh, we got, I, I was looking uh, too low with that. Uh, yeah, Moonrise with Bulbous Gate. They're testing mods, apparently. Uh, any you would suggest, Hedrick here, or Moonrise? I guess we go with Moonrise. Well, um, yeah, there's a minute today. <laughs> Yeah, I really should just narrow, start narrowing that down to like three or five each time. But yeah, yeah, copy the name. It's easy for me to help select, but sometimes I just go, just my brain just locks out. <laughs> okay. Uh, like I said, if we have the time and nothing gets in the way uh, at the last minute or so, we will be doing one more stream of Dave the Diver. And then tomorrow we have Showcase Sunday. And we'll see what we put in the evening. Maybe an extra stream of uh, on Sunday evening. Maybe an extra episode of Retribution. Maybe one extra of Dave. Or maybe move on to a new side uh, quest game. Oh, that's a good question. Hmm. And I'm up for more Retribution, but I'm also up for another game. I'm thinking we do a return to Heart Space Shipbreaker because we haven't played that game in literal years. Yeah, and it is fully out now, so God. the story isn't going to get reset. Yeah, but good God. I almost forgot how... I almost forgot that ge that is one of the games that actually angers me. <laughs> okay, I, I have played it to about where we lost were, I think one step further. But it, nothing too much happens in between. But for now, let, <clears throat> uh, let's get that raid started. And yeah, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Pizza. Thank you, <clears throat> Marco. And uh, Glacier Boy as well. Thank you all for watching. And everyone else as well. Let me check for lurkers. Uh, ta -da -ta, none at the moment. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for undead seagulls. And uh, Kairos. And Kairos. <laughs>